Yeah, that is a very deep <laughs> question. <laughs> because there's, there is a, um, um, so I am a ceremonial person. I'm a very spiritual person. Um, and we have protocols. Um, and our protocols from Haudenosaunee peoples is the sacred ceremonies are only for Haudenosaunee peoples. So when I said I came from our midwinter ceremonies, it's our, our nations and our clans. But we do open up that re we opened up that relationship with, with um, I will say non Haudenosaunee peoples because thinking about the two row wampum belt and the relationships that we established with settlers, with non indigenous peoples, historically was about um, about sharing the land, about respecting the land, was about um, honoring each other as human beings, but also honoring uh, the relationship with the natural world. And so when we have those ceremonies um, and we acknowledge the sacredness of them and acknowledging our relationship to the earth to our mother. Um, we're, we're doing that for all human beings. And it's all, it's all about um, reciprocity, about giving thanks. Um, and I think we shared that when we originally through Thanksgiving um, and those Thanksgiving ceremonies are very important in that relationship to um, the natural world. So I'm, when I'm thinking about the, even our Thanksgiving address, so when we have ceremony anywhere, whether it's at home in our longhouse or when we're gathering in a space like this, and we have, we have someone who stands up to uh, give a Thanksgiving address and it goes through, depending how long, it can take hours, depending on the speaker, depending on how detailed that they wanna be and giving thanks to every living thing. And so, so during that time as well, our minds are supposed to be at one, so it doesn't really matter. So when, we're, when our minds are all at having that same, um, understanding and relationship. So starting, you know, with our mother, the earth, with everything around on her, um, the plants, the seeds, the medicines, the, then the water and what's in the water and then in the sky, the sky world and the birds and, um, you know, the stars and the moon and the sun and, you know, that relationship is what, um, we're giving thanks for that. So, so when we're, so it's difficult to put it into into that kind of understanding because, like in this kind of space. But that's what makes sense when we're talking about ceremony and protocol, and the relationship is always about. I think you said it as well as relational is about relations with each other, and so as humans, um, in our language we say um, and that's original peoples, and that's everybody here, that's human beings and their relationship. And there was, there's no um, color, there's no, it's like we're, we're humans and it's a relationship that we have with each other and relationship with the natural world. And so our ceremonies have always been about, um, always about our relationship to um, the natural world and the cycle, the cycles of seasons and the cycles that, that occur. So, so, so if we're living that kind of life, living that kind of life and following the natural world, 
we wouldn't be doing what we're doing today. Um, because we've, we've managed to work within this colonial Christian calendar, even our holidays, the Christian holidays, and we're following the calendar, that's not our calendar. Um, so, you know, when thinking about just the whole uh, way of understanding that relation, that relationship and uh, relationships um, in that reciprocal relationships is, is part of that. Um, and so I, I, uh, I carry tobacco with me all the time. It's part of our, also part of our, um, our grounding. It helps me to um, maintain that relationship right, and it goes right back to our creation story because tobacco was part of our creation story and Sky Woman falling from the sky world and grabbing the, grabbing the roots and tobacco is going right back to our creation story. And so that's what I, I always ask um, is what is your creation story? Where, where, where is your roots? You know, where, where is your original teachings? Because everybody has them. Everybody has an original creation story. And so when you find those, when you find that, it's like, um, it's like you're grounded everywhere. But your original roots are still from your nation. So when I introduced myself, and I was, and all of us in our nations that introduce ourselves from our language. So Kanyangihaga is the, the word I used, and that's the Mohawk Nation. But the original, the literal translation is, is people of the flint. So in our language, it actually tells us our original relationship to where we're from. And so all of us have that that word that identifies us. So yeah, that's long enough. Thank you.